Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools. You know, and just the other night I was sitting on the old couch and I was leaning back and I looked and I'm like, I wonder how high that wall is over there. But you know what? It was really far away and I was a tired bear and it wasn't going to happen and I thought, if only, if only there were a way to measure that wall without having to get up from here. Apparently there is. And the company Milly C well known yeah, company, yeah, whatever they are. Chinese company brand X here, uh <laughs> they've got the tool just to do that. Now you may ask, you know, Bear, why did you choose to review this tool? Well, you see, they offered me large piles of cash. Alright, maybe maybe just one small tiny pile. But the truth of the matter is they did pay me, which is odd in and of itself because usually these Chinese companies and they I get a company two or three times a week trying to send me stuff I just give them my shipping my, my PO box and go hey send it to me and I'll take a look at it if it's worth reviewing I'll review it and if it's junk it'll go in the junk drawer and I'll never talk about it again and you know maybe someday I'll, I'll get enough of that stuff together that I'll do a pile of trash from China video that'd be a fun video huh so anyway they, they actually paid me. They sent me the, the tool and $100. So, I guess you get a video. But don't worry, you know, the bear is still going to tell you what he thinks of it. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's get paws on with it, shall we? Not too shabby. Measurement. Auto height. Measurement. 
Measurement. Area. Measurement. Come on. That's the lanyard. That does nothing. There's your uh, tripod mount. You just press that back, pull it up, the whole thing comes out. All right, well, there you go. I got to say, and you know, you take it with a grain of salt, if you will. When I opened the box, the first thing that jumped out at me about this thing was that, well, okay, the first thing was that part of the box was crushed, but, you know, that kind of stuff happens in shipping. That's not really their fault, is it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is. The, I, I don't know who crushed it, <laughs> but, but the tool inside was fine. But the thing that jumped out at me is, they, this is not, it didn't feel cheap, all right? This has got an over-molding over a plastic shell. So the blue part, as you saw in the video, that actually, it continues through the whole body of it, and that rubber part, that black part, is actually a rubber over-molding for the whole thing. And it gives it some shock resistance, and it says it's waterproof. I did not test it, but I mean, I'm looking at it, seeing gaps and stuff. I, I would call it splash-proof. How about that? I wouldn't go swimming with this, but if you're out in the rain, I wouldn't worry highly about it. But let's talk about the instruction manual that comes with it, shall we? Now, they, they talk about the stuff with <laughs> the triad. <laughs> What's a triad hole, honey? I, I don't know what a triad hole is. Well, if you don't know, I, I can't tell you. Apparently, I missed that part of bi you know biology. Um, so anyway, the... Front reference point, rear reference point, and tri oh, tripod, tripod reference hole. As I was saying, the manual is interesting, but it's not bad in covering the functions that it covers. The problem is there's a whole bunch of stuff that it doesn't cover. What it's really good at, though, is covering the stuff you do want to know, like how to use the device to do measurements. It covers how to do the laser measurement, but some of the things it just kind of leaves out. Um... It does tell you that on the wheel measurement that you do want to go in the direction that it that the wheel is showing you. But as you can see on screen here, it's not showing you really anything. Or is, it, is that? No, that's kind of it. On the screen, it should show you a little arrow telling you which way you want to go. And the cool thing with the wheel, I did like the wheel. You can measure curved surfaces. You can measure cords and all sorts of stuff with it. I We found we had quite a bit of fun measuring stuff with it. Uh, the, yeah, I don't, those lenses, it shoots lenses out, apparently. No, uh, and I don't know about the accuracy on it. I found it to be close enough. I would not use this for, say, you know, cutting lumber or anything. Maybe the wheel measurement you could use for that. But the laser, it, laser's good for guesstimate ac accuracy kind of stuff. At least, that that's my feeling on it. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know, honestly. There, there was several cases where it was definitely off, but I don't know if it was off because I was holding it wrong or because the, the tool was just off. I know that when I paid more attention to how I held it, it was more accurate. Uh, maybe using it on a tripod is the way to go with this. I gotta say, I was really impressed with the uh, Pythagorean uh, algorithms there and being able to measure the height of a wall at a distance just by clicking at the top and clicking at the bottom. That was pretty cool. It's got, as you saw in the video, it's got 20 data sets of memory. That's quite a bit. And uh, and electronic sensor, I'd li I do like that, actually. I, I thought that was a nice, easy way to get an exact angle. You could lean it up a, 
against a wall or something else and and get your angle on it. I don't know if you'd want to use it as an angle finder on, like, say, uh, your table saw or something, but uh, it, it does do it. It does say it's backlit. I can't figure out how to turn the backlight on because that's not in the manual. Changing the language, not really in the manual. Sending it from uh, meters to feet, not in the manual. The way you do that, by the way, is pressing and holding on the bottom center button. Uh, the, not the wheel button, but the, the center, those six buttons, the bottom one there, the, the bottom of the chevron. Press and hold that and it will change it. And it will do meters, it will do inches, it will do feet in a decimal situation, and then it also does feet and inches. So, I mean, it does everything you want, and then it tells you about it. I thought the voice was interesting. <laughs> Welcome to use. That That's actually what it says. And then this feature is interesting. You can set it on continuous where you can sweep an area, and it will tell you afterwards what the maximum distance was and what the minimum distance was. That's that's kind of a nifty feature. All right, so that's the Millisi... I don't know how you pronounce it. Apparently they make a bunch of other measuring devices, laser levels and all that other kind of stuff. I gotta say, I was fairly impressed with the device. I thought the build quality was nice. Comes with a little, you know, like ballistic nylon bag, you know, Velcro clothes. Nothing fancy, but at least it has it. I've just picked up a lot of these little devices that don't have anything. The other thing is it came with a battery or three, a three AAA batteries, which is, you know, they're, it's a, kind of a step up when they're willing to include batteries. There's, I've got many electronic devices like this that don't have batteries. And uh, I, I was kind of nice to see that. Comes in a nice box. And, uh, you know, it, it seems like, as I said, the build quality, when you pick it up and hold it in your hand, you will say this feels like a decently made thing. The only part of it I thought actually that felt cheap was the wheel. And maybe that's just because it's meant to spin so easily or something. It felt like it was a cheaper grade of plastic or something. I, I don't know. But the uh, in the end, it, it's not that hard to figure out the device. Uh, the instructions cover the, the, the basic stuff. But the uh, it, I wish it covered more. It could definitely cover more. Here's, here's the one thing, though. When you're getting a, a cheap Chinese device, you're used to paying cheap Chinese kind of prices, right? Well, this is for sale on Amazon. It ships out of the U.S., I think, because uh, it got here quick. So they must have it stocked at Amazon. But it's, uh, it's six, I think it's $60. Yeah, it's $59.97, I think, currently on Amazon. And it is available for prime shipping. All right, not the cheapest electronic gadget out there you'll see from China. But you know what? It's It's got a lot of features. I've seen ones out there that are cheaper. But I've not seen ones that were cheaper and had all these functions, especially that measuring wheel. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can point me to one that is. I know Bosch makes some devices like this. Uh, some of them are less expensive. Some of them are a lot more expensive. Uh, I don't know. We'll take it up to the house in Montana. You know, we're going to do some work up there. and We'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe give a, a long-term check-in. Yeah, you know, they did pay me for it. I But I still try to be fair and show, tell you the, the bare facts, as it were. <laughs> Use it or don't. It doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, there you go. It's the Millisi cordless tape measure thing, laser tape measure, wherever you want to call it. Anyway, if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't worry. <laughs> China keeps sending them. They don't usually pay me, but they do keep sending them. Anyway, don't forget to uh, check out our tool chest challenge. Go over there and vote. Uh, also, don't forget to uh, uh, set up a you know an account over on the boards on the forum at denatools.com. We have a whole a great group of guys and gals over there that help you out and ask questions and, and uh, talk about projects and tools and such. It's a lot easier to interact than here on in the uh, the comments down below. So anyway, take a moment, chomp that like button. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can uh, actually subscribe because I know when you click subscribe that doesn't really happen. You know. YouTube, right? And hopefully there won't be any dang flickering in this video, right? Anyway, that's it. That's all the bear has for you today. You all take care, and as always, shine on. Mila C. How do you pronounce that junk? <laughs>